What's up guys? My name is Zeltex and this is a video on everything you need to know about the new gun, the Havoc. Alright, what's up guys? So the Havoc is an energy weapon. It just came out on Apex Legends. So I'm just going to kind of go through, tell you guys about it, so you guys are kind of up to date on everything that this gun can do. So to start off with, it runs energy ammo. Um, I honestly kind of feel like this is going to be one of its downfalls because I find that it's hard to find energy ammo compared to other ammos in the game. It has a little bit of a delay before you start shooting. Um, it's not that bad and you could get used to it if you just use the gun more and more. The recoil pattern on it is pretty much straight up. It pulls up harder than most other guns I find, like the 301 doesn't pull up very much at all. The, I'd probably find it more similar to the R99 as far as its recoil pattern, but even with that, I think it pulls up a little bit harder than that, which isn't that difficult to compensate. It's pretty pretty consistent with just going straight up. It's a full auto gun. Uh, it has three slots. It a, has a scope, stock, and a perk. So what's interesting about this gun is that the perk on it can be select fire to make it shoot just a, a big charge up shot um, to the body it does 55 damage i didn't end up getting a headshot with this perk on it but i would imagine it's probably gonna be around 100 damage like 98 damage kind of like the longbow if it didn't have the the skull piercing perk on it if that's what it's even called i don't know um but yeah so the select fire and then the other perk it can run is a uh, turbocharger, which all turbocharger does is that, you know, in your mind, it, you would think it might make it, the gun shoot faster. But all it really does is it just gets rid of that delay at the beginning of the shot. So as soon as you press the trigger, it starts shooting. So honestly, in my opinion, uh, the select fire isn't really that worth it. If you're going to run uh, something that that can do that damage, I just run the longbow. Um, and the main reason why that is is because even with the select fire on it, it still has that delay before you shoot, and I feel like that can throw some people off. And also, it takes five damage per shot, I'm pretty sure. So I would honestly rather just run the turbocharger on it so that I could get rid of that delay at the beginning. So it has a 25-round clip. It, the gun doesn't have any attachments to make it a bigger clip, so that's all you get. Um, so... The damage it does to the body is the same as the hemlock. If we switch the hemlock to single fire, uh, one body shot does 18 damage on the hemlock. Well, that's the same for the Havoc. And then same thing with the headshot. The Havoc does 36 damage to the head. Uh, the hemlock also does 36 damage to the head. Um, so the max damage output you can get if you hit all body shots is 450 damage. Uh, max damage if you got all headshots is 900. Um, I tried to do my best with this, but the time to kill, uh, my best guess estimate, if you hit all body shots, it's about 1.4 seconds. That's kind of just the average that I got out of trying to time it. I mean, I could be wrong, but that seems pretty quick to me. So it's definitely, definitely pretty good compared to some other guns. Yeah, so honestly... Uh, my opinion about this gun, I really liked it. I've only played, I only got to play a couple games with it. I was just trying to get the, the gun and get the perks for with the turbocharger, and everything. Um, but I really like it. I think that uh, if you can hit your shots with it, you can just melt somebody really, really fast. So what I like about the gun is that the damage output seems really good. Um, the recoil is not that bad. I don't. I think you get used to it really easily uh the versatility with it is 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 cool i think um the 25 round, 25 round clip uh i think is pretty good because most guns have a lower clip than that if you don't have an extended mag on it some downfalls is that it's an energy weapon i just find that it's really hard to find energy ammo in this game and so i feel like if you're having troubles finding energy ammo you're gonna end up running at, out of ammo with this gun and then the other thing is that if you're running the select fire, there's five shots for a fully charged up shot to do that 55 damage to the body. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know 
if I missed something with uh, Havoc in the comments below. And just leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys around on Twitch or on YouTube. Peace. Thanks for watching.